I've been attending Gamblers Anonymous for three years, whereas my best mate Dave, he only stuck it out for two and a half, so I won that one. <laughs> Dave drowned, so at his funeral, we got him a wreath in the shape of a life belt. Uh, well, well. It's what he would have wanted. They always say you'll find the love of your life when you're not really looking, which was true, but by then I'd run her over. <laughs> My next door neighbor's really loud and obnoxious, and so I'll know how Canada feels. <laughs> I was in WH Smith's, I bought a book of a thousand raffle tickets for £2.50, which is a bargain, because normally they're a pound a strip. I didn't win. I bought a chocolate bar on the inside of the wrapper. It said, you're a loser. I wouldn't mind if there'd been some sort of competition on. <laughs> to make things worse, it was a boost. <laughs> <laughs> As kids, you always enjoyed dipping ginger nuts into a steaming hot cup of tea, but of course, nowadays, that's called bullying. <laughs> so, uh... I know I shouldn't do that. Ginger jokes, ginger jokes are kind of the last vestiges of racism in comedy. They're supposed to be a hangover from anti-Celtic prejudice back in the day. Apparently that's the origin of it. And they've started a ginger pride movement to stamp that shit out. They had a march in Hyde Park. You know. Well, they were going to, but the sun came out and... Oh, it's... <laughs> Panty liners, that was the worst cruise I've ever been on. Especially the Red Sea. <laughs> that was a beautiful, disgusted noise. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> Recently, I was fingered for a crime, which is quite a harsh punishment. When I was young, I went out with an older woman who taught me that the best way to perform cunnilingus is to use your tongue to trace out the letters of the alphabet. So I learned how to do that, and I was pretty pleased with myself, and then she left me for a Chinese guy. <laughs> well done on getting that one, by the way. That's excellent, right? Oh, I forgot to do this at the top. The venue asked me to, to read out an announcement on their behalf, so just, just let, me, let me do that now. Here, let me get this. Here we go. Uh, right. Um, we'd like to apologise unreservedly to the hen party we had in last night that we did not provide the stripper Mr Manhood they'd been expecting. We would also like to apologise to Mr Mahood for any embarrassment... <laughs> I went to see the stalactites at Cheddar Gorge and our guide asked us not to try and crack one off and she wasn't even that attractive. <laughs> but I still managed. It was very dark. This morning I went to a meeting in my premature ejaculator support group. It turns out it's tomorrow. <laughs> no, but I did suffer from premature ejaculation which made me feel selfish. Bad for my girlfriend. And she suggested I try this special cream that reduces your sensitivity. And it really worked, because now I don't give a fuck about her. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, my, uh, my girlfriend says I'm not very romantic. The other day we were kissing on the sofa and she said, how about we take this into the bedroom? I said, all right, you get the other end. My girlfriend's dog died, so to cheer her up, I got her an identical one. She was livid. What am I going to do with two dead dogs? <laughs> I 
She always says, my problem is I never follow through on projects, so I shat on her stamp collection. <laughs> 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 Valentine's Day, she got all upset when she found out that I'd wiped my knob on the box of chocolates I'd given her. Yeah. Luckily, I managed to come out of it smelling of roses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're trying for a baby at the moment. Her mom's agreed to help out, you know, just till I get hard. Enjoy that image. <laughs> I hate people who complain about breastfeeding in public, like, I don't want to see it, or that's disgusting, or you can't do that, you're not a woman. <laughs> and that's not a baby. It's <laughs> definitely not milk. As a family, we couldn't decide whether to have Nana buried or cremated, so in the end, we let her live. <laughs> uh, Nan's going to that suicide clinic in Switzerland, but don't tell her, it's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> it's thanks to the efforts of men like my granddad that we don't speak German today, because he single-handedly killed 11 language teachers I started a celebrity magazine for the elderly. It's called Hello, 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 Hello. <laughs> my granddad's trying to keep up with new technology. I got a text off him the other day. I've had a stroke and now my head's hanging to one side. <laughs> Lol. He asked me how to print on his new computer. I said, just control P. He said, I haven't been able to do that for years. <laughs> oh. My granddad went down in history, and on one occasion, fingered a girl in geography. 